Hello YouTube, my name's Dave. Welcome to my workshop in a single car garage here in South Australia. Come on in and let's see what we can make. Hello again. Now in today's video I'm going to show you about using a uh, JNS uh, fluid motion diamond wheel dresser on my uh, Grimby grinder. Now this JNS has got no affiliation with Jones and Shipman in, in Leicester in England. This is, a, this is an American company. Um, I'll show, I'll, 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 I'll go through the motions of actually, you know, of how it works, but I won't actually be dressing the wheel. I mean, not only for the mess, but also, you know, I don't want to wear my wheel away for, uh, you know, demonstrating this. I mean, who knows, you know, there might be hardly any views of, of this anyway. Now, I've done a quick search on YouTube, and as far as I can tell, um, I can't find anybody else that, that's shown how to use one of these, so, uh, who knows? This this could be a, uh, a YouTube first. So what I do is now is is, uh, is turn around and, and actually show. You. Now some of this will be um, handheld, so that I can uh, you know get in close and actually show you the the um, uh, the, the setup. But uh, then some of it I should I should be put on a on a fixed mount, so that because I should need two hands to um, to, to to show you in action. Uh, catch you again in a minute. So here we see the unit uh, mounted to the um, uh, magnetic chuck. Um, it's got a it's got a uh, a rotary motion for, for uh, now at the moment I've got this set for 90 degrees as, as if you were putting the radius on one side of the wheel only. But there's no reason why you couldn't uh, just by changing the stops you could you could do a full 180. So I said you've got you've got you've got that motion, and down here we have a. Um, uh, micrometer so that you can actually um, put the put the, the, the cut on so as I said I'm not I'm not going to um, actually dress the wheel but I mean I've set it up as, as if as if uh, as if would so what I've done is I've, I've actually set this this diamond here to um, practically no practically no uh, radius at all so uh, normally normally what you do is 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 to, is to, is to make sure that we've got uh, we've got some clearance on the on the between the diamond and the wheel and then what you do is then is to um, um, bring it in until uh, it's, it's, it's also it's also got a got, got a um, I don't know where you actually you can turn it around on the side there can, can we see on that side um, it's actually got a, a motion for actually uh, sweeping the wheel so the, so the idea is is that you've got to um, bring this uh, and bearing in mind to say you you you, you want to lock the uh, lock the table as well um, you know so that you've got no no fear of it a uh, bit a uh, bit moving um, ah so as I was uh, saying just now I'd say this is only going to be a demonstration of, of without without cutting so assuming now that um, um, we are ready to uh, dress the wheel. Uh, as I ensure, like I just showed you, that we got the, the clearance on the wheel. There is 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 that you advance the saddle into the wheel, and then and then holding this so that it it uh, it um, it doesn't rotate. You can actually actuate this lever here, which will actually dress the dress the side of the of the wheel. And then when you're ready, you then start rotating it round starting to put the radius on and then of course you you then advance it in with this uh, screw until the, the till the uh, till it cleans up and then you hold it there and actuate it that way so you that way you you've actually dressed you've dressed the wheel in 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 a full radius now I I'm assuming it doesn't say in the instructions but I'm assuming that you need to follow the the um I don't know I don't know if it's trigonometry rules or whatever else but I mean I'm, I'm assuming that you have to have the diamond on the center line of the of the spindle otherwise you won't you won't get the correct way yes so I'm, I'm just assuming that um, now the other option we can actually do with this is is to, is to is to grind an angle and I'll just set that up just now here I've uh, I've changed it to say you want a 45 degrees on there I've actually set this to 45 degrees and of course you you've now got this this motion which is which is moving the diamond across the wheel and it'll just be a case of obviously when the when the wheels wheels is running um, advancing your table into it and keep on moving this backwards and forwards until you you got the desired um, width of chamfer that you want 
Now, as I say, this is this is the first time I've taken it out of the box. So I mean, I've, I've, I've all I've done is had a quick read the instructions. Now, from what the instructions say, to set the radius you want, all you need is a micrometer. Apparently, all you do is you is, is you basically with a diameter, a bit of, with a diameter, measure this distance with a, a micrometer, and down on the uh, other side. If, 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 if I can uh, undo that and, and swing that round and, and show you that, yes, there's, there's, there's these. Then you can make out these these two pegs here. So apparently, it's a combination of knowing what this distance is, and then measuring it down there, and and, and they give you a chart, uh, and and just then a case of sliding. I moved it out of the way so it doesn't damage the wheel, and then you can then then you can then just slide this in and out to get the to get the distance you want. So um, it looks sounds as though it's. Uh, looks quite easy to use as I say perhaps one day I'll, I'll, I may use it but as I say th this is this is a little bit another one of, uh, of um, Dave's follies I see it advertised from a guy in 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 the USA and thought oh I think I'll buy that so so whether I'll ever get around to using it or not, I don't know but I just thought I'd show you this and uh, and see what uh, and see what you think now if anybody out there has actually got one of these and, and, and knows more about it I mean please feel free to uh, get back to me and uh, you know give me some oh you shouldn't have done this or you should do that whatever you know I'm open open to suggestions well I hope you managed to understand that sort of a, a gullible description of, 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 of how it's I think it's supposed to work um, <laughs> you'll have to let me know if I've got it wrong so uh, once again um, thanks for watching please subscribe please ring the bell hit the like button send me a comment or an email so until the next video, wherever you are in the world, please stay safe, well and happy and catch you on the next video. Bye. That's all, folks.